a happy ending for a Lehigh woman whose home became its own beehive. Lonnie Strange called us yesterday saying thousands of the insects infested her home. But tonight she tells us they're all gone and now she can finally live in peace. They're coming out the vent, they are all everywhere. Lonnie Strange came to us Thursday with a big problem. Thousands of them, her roof, walls, and living room were infested with the buzzing bees. I can't sleep in there. My grandkids can't sleep in there. She needed help fast. Mm -hmm. Friday, Lottie's landlord, Gilroy Lewis, came over from the East Coast and had a local bee removal company take care of the pests. And they killed the bees up there. They broke that down right there, and they got the bees up. Dead, dead, so not dead. Lewis said this is the second time this home has become infested, and he's not sure why. Vice President of the Florida Beekeepers Association, Keith Council, says it's common in homes that aren't completely sealed. Bees enter through openings around outlets or light fixtures, and quickly. <laughs> Any cavity that's open in the block or in the soffit area that has an opening the size of a pencil, the bees can move in within minutes. The rainy season keeps them busy. The rain holds them into their hives so they have nothing else to do but work in there, make up new queens, make divisions. And then as soon as it quits raining, they go to flying. So then we have these swarms, and now we're dealing with the swarms in between the rainstorms. Lottie is relieved to get back to her life and her work as a seamstress because she says there's only room for one queen bee in this house. <laughs> Council says if you have a similar bee problem,